Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, this is third lecture of pollination. As we know, pollination having two types, cell pollination and cross pollination. Dear students, cross pollination. It is genogamy. It is allogamy. And the cross pollination requires some pollinating agents. On the basis of pollinating agents, cross pollination having following types. Anemophily, pollination carried by wind, air. Ornithophily, as we know ornitho, the pollination carried by birds. Entomophily, means pollination, the pollinating agents are insects. It is insect pollination. Entomophily. Dear students, in this lecture, I will discuss entomophily, the pollination carried by insects. And the flowers which are pollinated by insects are entomophilus. Not down. This is most common type of zoophily. In this entomophily, the bees pollinate about 80% of entomophilus flowers. These flowers show following characteristics. Generally, the entomophilus flowers are large sized, colored and showy to attract the insects. Dear students, the bees generally pollinate. The bees visit to yellow flowers, blue flowers, purple, violet flowers. Not down competitive exam students, the bees use UV radiations to observe the color of flowers. And in presence of UV radiations, the red flowers appear black. So the bees rarely pollinate or visit the red flowers. They use UV radiations to observe the color of flowers. And the bees are involved in pollinating, especially the blue colored flowers, the purple violet and yellow colored flowers, rarely red flowers. If the size of entomophilus flower is small, then these small flowers, they appear in groups. As in case of sunflower, entire inflorescence, the group of flowers that becomes a large size head, that is racimose head. Dear students, it is capitulum. Similarly, in case of acacia, the kicker, the mimosa, the albizia, the cirrus, entire inflorescence, the cluster of flowers that becomes head or it is cymose head. Instead of petals, as we know, in a flower, sepals generally greenish in color. The petals are colored, but not down. Dear students, in some cases, instead of petals, other parts of a flower may become colored. As in case of bougainvillea, the bract becomes colored. Leaves become colored in case of euphorbia mele. Spath means again bract which become colored in case of arum, in colocasia, kachalu, in case of musenda. One sepal becomes colored. Here in case of mimosa, in case of acacia kicker, the stamens become colored. In some plants, in some entomophilus flowers, special markings are there. Dear students, special markings are there which are present on petals, which represent honey or nectar glands. As these glands reflect UV radiations to observe the color 
by insect by bees so these are named nectar or honey guides and dear students these are special type of markings or honey guides or nectar guides are commonly observed in voila the pansy the flowers entomophilus flowers generally produce a characteristic order and the order may be pleasant as in case of jasmine it pleases the insects and others but in some entomophilus flowers the characteristic order may be foul smelling as in case of rafflesia and this rafflesia that produce a foul smell which attracts the carrion flies as well as in case of other plants like aristolochia in arum the characteristic order is foul smelling which attract the bees house flies other flies as in case of rafflesia that is largest flower producing plant and its foul smell that odor that attracts carrion flies dear student it shows fly trap mechanism the rafflesia the largest flower producing plant that shows fly trap mechanism by producing foul smell the pollens the entomophilus flowers produce edible pollens example rose clematis magnolia in case of papaver these flowers produce edible pollens at the time of insects visit when they consume these edible pollens pollen grains stick over the body of insects to catch the pollens generally the stigma becomes sticky and stigma remains inserted dear students in case of anemophilus the pollination by wind air the sex organs the stigma remains exerted outside the flower but here in these entomophilus flowers the stigma remains inside the flower that is inserted entomophilus pollens are surrounded by a yellowish oily secretion that secretion is sticky in nature commonly named pollen cat which is easily carried by insects some flowers produce safe place to insects for egg laying as no down in this inflorescence hypanthodium it is hypanthodium inflorescence of ficus ficus carica anjir plant in this inflorescence edible gall flowers are there and it is a relationship between fig and gall wasp it is blastophaga it shows trap door mechanism dear students because this when this insect comes here this female gall wasp when comes in this hypanthodium this door becomes closed a female lays eggs in these gall flowers and when the hy this hypanthodium this inflorescence opens then the insect carries pollen this is a coevolution dear students it is a special mode of mutual relationship between two members of different species and both are meant for each other this is mutual dependence no down in case of family lepiety the corolla becomes bilipped this lower lip of this corolla that produce 
a landing platform on this insect sits here the anther its one lobe becomes sterile and dear students in case of salvia labiati tulsi family ossimum this anther lobe upper lobe it is fertile that produce pollens but the flower shows protandry it means male sex organs mature earlier than female when this insect having pollens on its back it visits another flower in which female part is mature then a mature stigma that receives pollens from the back of insect this special kind of relationship it is turn pipe or it is lever mechanism dear students this characteristic dependence mutual dependence it is observed in ossimum tulsi labiati family and most common example is salvia no doubt here another mutual dependence shown by an orchid of race and this mediterranean orchid plant in which one petal no doubt one petal of a flower that appears in color shape size to the female colpa insect dear students as a result the male colpa insect that visits the flowers in order to copulation but the insect pollinates the flower that kind of relationship in which the orchid plant that provides sex it is pseudo copulation dear students it is sexual deceit because one petal of a flower that appears that gives an appearance to female colpa wasp as a result the male visits the male comes for copulation but it pollinates the flowers that kind of relationship it is sexual deceit it is pseudo copulation it is mutual dependence another example is yucca moth dear student yucca plant and its pollinating agent the moth both show mutual dependence yucca plant cannot survive without its moth and moth also fails to survive without yucca plant that kind of relationship it is coevolution means two different members of two species two different species are meant for each other here yucca plant provides safe nursery to the insect for laying eggs ficus carica this is similarly the amor amorphophallus and this amorphophallus the ta the tallest flower producing plant that produce a flower of about 6 feet tall that also provides safe nursery to insects this is all about entomophily the pollination carried by insects dear students in next lecture i will discuss more different types of cross pollination